a 14-year-old boy has died in the Maldives. This allegedly after recently elected President Mohamed Moizu refused to give approval to use a Dornier aircraft provided by India for his airlift. Now, the boy who had a brain tumor suffered a stroke after which his family requested for an air ambulance to transport him from his home to the capital city of Mali. According to the Maldivian media, the family alleges that the authorities failed to arrange medical evacuation promptly. The boy was brought to Mali 16 hours after the emergency evacuation request was first made. And due to this, the teenager died on account of delay in remedy. Maldives Minister Mikhail Nassim has blamed President Mohammed Moizu for the death of the child. The minister took to social media platform X and said, and I'm quoting him here, people should not have to pay with their lives to satisfy the president's animosity towards India. Now, as per reports, evacuation requests were also raised with Maldives Asandha Company Limited, which is responsible for taking care of such situations. However, the family flagged that the aviation authority did not answer their distress call on Wednesday night and on Thursday when the company finally did, they failed to provide any help whatsoever. As per the company's statement, they did plan the evacuation which was later stalled over a quote-unquote technical snag in the flight. Later, upon the subsequent arrival of the boy at Mali, he was immediately admitted in the intensive care unit, the ICU, after which he passed away. The incident also sparked massive protests outside the hospital where the child died. Protesters expressed fury over the delay of 16 crucial hours in evacuation and the Maldivian president's decision. Well, India has beforehand offered two naval helicopters and one Dornier plane to Maldives for medical evacuation and different high availability disaster recovery actions. Now, because of the Maldivian authorities' push for removal of Indian troopers, the destiny of Indian helicopters and planes is in limbo. President Moizu has asked India to withdraw its troops by the 15th of March. However, Indian officers say that talks are nonetheless underway to discover a resolution to the problem. This development comes at a time when diplomatic relations between New Delhi and Mali have recently deteriorated. And this following derogatory comments made by the Maldivian ministers towards India and the Indian Prime Minister.